bunkhouse here and uh, next to that is the cottage there's laundry showers bathrooms and there's some beds upstairs bedrooms and there's a red house all the way down it's uh, got the gear shop and the owners live there as well and then this is the big white building oh huh, i didn't know there's a deck up top but uh yeah that's where we're staying but that's also where the main kitchen is and this big old attachment it's a huge house a bunch of rooms there's even upstairs but we haven't gone there at all but pretty pretty nice hostel i think the thing that surprised me is most hostels are just like one house but they own two houses so all the property in between they allow tenting and the other side of this red house there's actually glamping tents and the uh, driveway on the other side of the house it's pretty wild it's a really nice setup everywhere Good morning, it's day 198. We are at a random trailhead somewhere near Otter Pond or something. Uh, I, I guess we go that way to get to the AT, but we are slack packing. This is my first time going Sobo on the AT since, um, actually since I made the wrong turn somewhere, I forgot where I was, but I made a wrong turn out of a shelter area and I headed Sobo like a mile. But today we are slack packing. Here's my slack pack. This is my first time like really slack packing with the super light pack and uh, and going Sobo. Leg is still a little sore, um, but I think once we get moving a little bit more and I start focusing my walking, it's gonna be all right. And then tonight I'll tend to it more and then tomorrow we'll slack pack again. And that way tomorrow night we can tend to it again. And then we'll actually out in the woods. So. This is the 100 mile wilderness for you. We are actually in the 100 mile wilderness and <laughs> we're slack packing. In fact, we heard that you can actually slack pack the entire 100 mile wilderness, which you wouldn't think would be possible considering it's called the 100 mile wilderness, but we'll see. But the big highlight of today or the big dread is pretty much as soon as we get near the AT, we're gonna have to ford a river. <laughs> uh, so our shoes are going to be wet right away and then 15 miles fun but i think it'd be fun all right let's get moving and get on the at this is the end of the otter pond trail we are heading left and that goes southbound on the at and today we only have, we have like 15.3 miles our day just started um because that part we just did doesn't really count and we have about 3,100 feet of climb. We're actually going a little higher than if we went uh, north. <laughs> uh, we'll be we'll wind up at a higher point at the end of the day than if we came south. So it's actually harder going this way, maybe. I don't know. But the rides, the logistics is a lot easier down at the road because you got people coming from the south there as well as us getting there. So you get a lot of people in one spot and easier for a shuttle but let's get going somebody made a 100 mile sign back there and i'm guessing it's a sobo because that's the first 100 miles on the at but for us that means well if we were heading north that means we'd have less than 100 but what it does mean is when we're done with today we will have way less than 100 to go so I'll get the number posted right here, but uh, yeah, it's a big day actually because we're going to break the three digit remaining amount. So, big day, one day after another. Every day is a big day, right? So, there's Pocket Rocket crossing. I, I guess it's a. Woo! Is it cold? What? We look for rocks to rock hop, but there doesn't seem to be anything safe to rock hop. So, over the water it is. Or in the water. It doesn't seem very fast or deep, so... It just will have wet shoes for like 13 miles. That's a big one.
this is kind of sandy. That was actually a pretty good crossing because uh, it was just all rocky. It wasn't silty or sandy at all. And that's when it's annoying because it gets in your shoes and you walk. Um, I find also if you're too close to someone, they kick up all the silt and it gets in your shoes. But that was a clean one, so our feet are wet, but at least there's no sand in it. I don't feel any kind of like dirt in there. So we just have to walk and let it kind of dry out. But uh, we, we do have like 13, maybe 13 and a half miles more to go. There's a huge waterfall along the trail. It's really hidden behind the trees though, so I guess the big camera wouldn't have been really good for taking a picture of that. But it looks like Pocket Rocket crossed over there, but it also seems like there are big rocks you can walk over. And of course, by any good water source, campgrounds. Little tent sites here and there. Actually pretty nice. I guess if you're really scared of water crossings, you can wear it looks like a flotation device. But let's get on over and keep going. We gotta do basically seven hours, 15 miles. So we have to go not super fast, but faster than two miles an hour to get to parking lot by four. What are you doing? Oh, I thought you're coming back. We're near the top of this mountain, but as we go up here, there's some rocks. These rocks are really nice. There's very obvious steps you could take up. There's nothing too slippery. So it's uh, easy peasy rocks. Are we at the top? No, this is a top. It looks like we keep going down that way. Easy, right? Friendly rocks, dry. Any more rocks ahead? Endless? Endless. There are always rocks ahead until you're done. Here's our second for the day. I guess we got a third one coming up. But, uh, whoo, water's nice and cold. I wonder if it's because it's the morning really rocky again it's not silty so it's it's clean oh feels so good yeah. bunch oh. of big boulders right in front of us oh. here have to go around oh. or over I'm gonna go up and over looks really shallow on the other side all right I'm gonna put this camera away and keep going that's what the gentleman just said Look who's coming up. What's up. More hikers that we met at Shaw's. They're continuing their northbound while we do our slacking. <laughs> Oop. Oh. Second person. You may oh, have seen a picture of him. Why are your packs so small with so much food in there? It's oh. only food. Only food. <laughs> Hello again. Hey, crazy eyes. How's it going? Almost How's done it? with your triple crown. Yeah, we're getting close. Not long now. It's funny as I've met him on every one of his <laughs> hikes. So we're it's secretly good to see. stalking each other, I guess. <laughs> I, guess. I don't know who's stalking who. It's just but. like super chance. Yeah. It's amazing. I mean, the trail brings people back together, so. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. So it's yeah. good to see him again. Yeah, yeah. For sure. Till the next time. Yeah, till the next time. A lot of trails out there. <laughs> the, uh, the impact. I tried one, but it's not enough. I gotta use both. Are you recording? I am. Okay. Recording you feeling great. 
I'm feeling great. Oh god, my trick a little thick. I'm feeling great. 100 miles to go. Less. Yeah, I guess 100 miles. 95. Guess it's good we're slack packing today. We are trucking along. We have 1.6 miles to go, but it's about 1340. So there's no way we're probably gonna make that four o'clock shuttle unless you're like 15, 20 minutes late. Um, yeah, hiking with the injury slows you down quite a bit. I think we're making over two miles an hour. Um, we just have to go faster for that shuttle, but We'll just hitch in. We think it's going to be an easy hitch and I brought my little hiker to town towel. So hopefully the hitch is easy. Get to town, ice up and uh, shower and uh, get ready for another day. We're starting to hear the sound of cars teasing us, making us think it's close, but it's usually far. But what's interesting though is on the hike, we had two Fords and the two streams to, to walk through. And then someone told us we have a third one. But then when we met Crazy Eyes, he said, oh yeah, you can just rock hop it. It's weird that the other person didn't rock hop it, that he actually walked through the water. And when we got there, it was easy rock hop. So it's all perspective. It's so weird, but easy rock hop. So only two Fords in the 15 miles. I heard there's gonna be some every day from now on, but um, still getting to the road. It's probably four now, so we're past it, but uh, I wish us luck. It's getting a little darker. Ah, uh, the classic scary sign about there are no place to obtain supplies or get help until a ball bridge 100 miles north do not attempt the section unless you have a minimum of 10 day supplies yeah <laughs> we're slack packing but uh 10 days of supplies good hiking matc we got to the road around 4 20 and unfortunately there were a couple of people that were waiting for another hiker so they gave us a ride into monson so worked out really well they, they even gave us the soda each uh, Tina got a Gatorade. She's a little more responsible than me, I guess. But um, that's it for tonight, everyone. Tomorrow morning, we decided we're going to push on. So tomorrow morning, we're actually slack pack to a road. And then they're going to meet us there and drop off our packs. And we're going to have five days of food in there. Five nights, six days of food. It's going to be quite a bit, but the trail is going to be easier. So it should be... All right, but tonight will be our last night in a bed until we finish. Big, big deal. So, all right, come back tomorrow and uh, see what happens. Bye. Thanks for watching. Oh, yeah. As far as the leg, it was, I took two Advil in the morning and it was okay all day. Towards three, it started to hurt more. Um, hurt about the same as normal, but when I got here and I took all the, like, the socks and the KT tape off and everything, it actually was a lot less swollen than the day before. Like yesterday, my ankle was just like a curve, but now you can actually see the ankle. You can see a little bit of vein. So I think things are doing better. Um, we're gonna keep KT taping it, take an Advil, and uh, push on, and we think we'll be all right the rest of the way.